Danny, not the result we were hoping for today. What's your take on the performance? Uh, yeah, really quite a tough one to take today, to be fair. It's, um, it's one of those situations where I thought that we were good for large spells of the game. For the first 12 minutes, both sides were quite lethargic. It looked a bit, a bit slow. And I thought we, we, from sort of 12, 15 minutes onwards, I thought we took absolute control of the game, got the goal that we, we deserved. And, and then you, you concede, like, literally on the, on the half time, 45 minute mark. And yeah, it's just, it's just stupidity. But then we get me in and we talk about it, we talk about the positives. We obviously, we had to make a change. Um, Wass is, is not fit to, to do more than 45 minutes. We had to bring him off. We bring Mo on, who's not kicked a ball since the third game of the season. That's, that's where we're at in a minute. But even then, I thought we, we started the second half quite brightly. Um, I thought the game hit a lull probably halfway through the, through the second half. And you're looking at it thinking, I didn't at any point think we were in any danger of, of, of conceding. And then, to be fair, I feel for, for Giles and Toby. Giles wins the header, literally hits Toby on the knee. and. It, the luck that we seem to be getting in the minute, he puts their forward straight through on goal and to be fair to them, they, they took it well, but no, it's hugely disappointing. I think I think when you're losing games the way we are, I think I'd rather get battered 4-0 because we, 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 and it's another game that we should be talking about points on the board and we're not, and the bottom line is that's that's what the game's all about. Because of course before the game, Christian had to come in and play in place of Kevin. I thought he did quite well at centre half. Yeah, no, I thought he came in really well. We're, 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 I mean, when it doesn't rain, it pours, doesn't it? And and I think from my perspective, we lose Kevin the warm up, and it does. It changed everything because it's ch changed our set pieces. It changed changed our defending set pieces. It changed the way we wanted to do it today because we set up and worked on it all week for for the way to to, to prep for the game. Um, but even with that, I still think the boys handled it really well. And then you could get to the stage like you did today, where you've walked away with nothing, and you you're standing thinking, I, I don't understand how we've not got something out of today's game, and. Those little, those little deflections, those little bit of luck, like, we're not getting that in a minute, so we've got to find a way of making sure that we put ourselves in a position where we can capitalise in other ways. You mentioned Wass as well, making his first start, and again, he did, he made a nuisance himself up front. <coughs> He's a good player, and, and he, he, will call, he will create and score goals, so obviously we can take him to the next level now, he can play a lot more than what he was, he's ticked those boxes off, but the bottom line is for the boys, it doesn't matter if we're scoring goals, if we're conceding the way we are, and it just wasn't good enough today. I spoke to Mitch and obviously he said about a few home truths being said after the game, you know, five defeats isn't what you want, but we need to move forward now and see what we can do to change those mistakes. Yeah, to be fair, the lads told me, they told me today, they said come out and you got to put it on us, Gaffer, because like, we can't keep letting you down like that. And, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want it to be a weak mentality. The other bottom line is I'm I'm at the, the sort of the forefront of it, and I'm happy to take the flag because the boys are working hard. They're trying to do things in the right way. The problem we've got is mentally we keep switching off, and until they get that right, they're going to keep getting that result. And the bottom line is for us is we we need to when we've asserted ourselves as much as we did today, we need to really punish teams when we do that because if we're going to keep making silly mistakes like that, you're going to need to score three or four every game. Of course, for the fans as well, it's not going to be nice reading for them. It's going to be difficult for them, as, as I'm sure it's for you as well. But you know, we want to keep them on our side and make sure that we are doing everything we can to get the results to come. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be surprised if anyone walked away today going, "Those boys don't care about all the shot town football club." I think that's definitely something that can't be accused of these, this group of players. If they're walking away saying, "Oh, we, 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 we can see goals at rubbish times and sometimes mentally we're weak," then I'd agree that's something we definitely need to work on. And we look, we said it all along, but we we. We, we value their support. We appreciate their support, and and I'm sure I'm I'm confident the ones that stick with us will reap the reward of that. Of course, we go ahead next game away at South End away next Tuesday. Yeah, another easy one. Um, so we look forward to that. But look, we but there's not one team we've played so far. We've not thought that we can go and win the game. And 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 like fair play to Neil after the game, he came up to me and he said, "You're the your hands down like the best best side we've played." And how you've not got something out of the game, I don't know, you've absolutely battered us today. And it's lovely to hear that. However, we didn't get anything out of the game. And I don't want to be that team. Everyone goes, Jesus Christ, we've played all the shot. They're, they're really tough to get. Had you gone, yeah, we won though. I don't want that. We, there's this certain period of the game today that we can need to sort of abandon the principle behind what we were trying to do and just secure that period of time. For example, the last two, two three minutes of the first half, including the injury time, and then the last four or four minutes of, of the second half. If we secure that off, we're all laughing. We're just going, brilliant, three points on the board. We knew it was coming. 
Um, I still think it is coming, and I just hope that from for my sake that I'm around long enough to see it happen. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.